<laughs> Over Crash's face here. Wow, standing next to Metro boxes. Oh, and then they bring this back. The moles from the first level. Oh, I was about to screw that up. Let's see. I thought I was gonna have the invincibility frames to get away with that. But yeah, so there's that. Thankfully right after that they give you a bonus round to hopefully replenish whatever lives you have just lost because of that. And in case you forgot, we were being chased by a giant polar bear. Yeah, this chase level is really weird in the fact that it gives you like a reprieve from the chase by uh, throwing a really hard platform in Oh, I forgot to check. By throwing a really hard platform in section at you. I actually don't think this bear moves as fast as the boulders do. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, see, it laughs at you if you die. Um. I think I should have died there, to be honest. I was like walking right at the edge. Lizard tail, seal tail, rat tail. I just can't catch a break with these animals. That lizard was just like, hey Crash, let me tell you a tale. <laughs> it squishes the lizards after if that one. That was funny. I forgot. I can't believe I screwed that up twice now. Whatever. 49 lives. I'm not going anywhere. Why, why is it that it's like these chase levels and the polar bear riding levels that seem to be my kryptonite? I don't know why I'm always compelled to jump like right in that general. That was stupid. I could have. I, I ran back for the box even though I know that the bear gets the box for me. Probably editing this out now. I just face palm.
Oh my god. Riding the polar bear. While running away from the polar bear. Oh my god. I almost noticed that I can do this. Ow. Alright, yeah, anyway. Riding the polar bear to get away from the polar bear. Pretty amusing. Oh man. I almost jumped right into those TNT boxes. Alright. With the assistance of our furry friend, we can manage to get a gem and the crystal. But there's more. Another secret, yeah, like I said, this level of secrets galore. It's out of control. It's actually funny. Totally Bear is its own level, like, separate from the only thing to get there is a gem. Unfortunately, it is another polar bear riding level. It's also a nighttime polar bear riding level. So, invisibility is low. Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> Whatever, that shouldn't be a hard one to fix my mistake on, though. Uh... Okay. Hopefully I don't screw this up too many more times. Or I'm gonna be kind of annoyed. stupid. I was apparently not like centered or something. Oh, how am I screwing? God, I don't understand. I'm seriously not doing anything any differently. There we go. I jumped over it? Ah. Why did I... I didn't even hit the button a second time. Why did I jump there? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. It's a, it's a really fortunate thing to crash Bandicoot is not an unforgiving platformer. 
Well, at least not Crash 2. Crash 1, I'm pretty sure it was something to do. Because I remember being very frustrated with that game. I don't play it very much either. Like, compared to the other ones. I still need to die because I missed another box, but at least I know I can get those. Progress. Oh my god. Thankfully there was a checkpoint just right there anyway. Ugh. Yeah. Requires a lot of maneuverability that I'm not very good at. Is it there? For this box. There we go. I don't know the dog's barking in the background. I hope you guys don't hear that. My sincerest apologies if you do. Forty seems like a weird number. For that to happen. I feel like it's too perfect. Like, yeah. Not skipping the hologram this time. Yes, we are. The last ten crystals will be the hardest to gather. And my uh, uh, our enemies will be sending their strongest forces to fortune. I'll contact you again when you have completed the next one. Alright. This next boss is my favorite boss in the game. For a couple of reasons. His design is pretty great. His theme song is jamming. And he's a boss in a platforming game that actually is platforming centric. Like all these other bosses have just been run around and avoid them and then put them in the dock. This one actually has something to do with platforming. Oh, that sucks. Oh yeah, Tiny's hilarious. He's got the upper body of a, like, Olympian. And his lower body is, like, super tiny. Look at his legs. They are, like, sticks. But, he, uh, can still jump just as good as Crash can. Oh no, I fell. This is giving me some difficulty, that's not good. That, ah, oh, I don't know, man, I'm sucking up on these. I'd say, barring the final battle, this is probably the hardest one though, so I'm not gonna be too harsh. Whatever, I still get to hear this theme song for a while. There we go. One, one to go.
All right, mission accomplished. And unfortunately, is our buddy Tiny just falls into that chasm. Alright, so I think that's all I'm going to do for now. When I start up the next episode, it will probably be... I'm going to off-screen the yellow gem, but I'm going to probably start up back here. But I'm probably going to start up back here in sewer or later. Or right here, and we'll jump in the sewer later and grab that gem from the yellow gem pack. Anyway, that's all for now. See you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Can't wait to see you in the next part of Crash Bandicoot 2.